The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks, receives. And the one who seeks, finds. And to the one who knocks, the door will be opened. Which one of you would hand his son a stone when he asked for a loaf of bread, or a snake when he asked for a fish? If you then, who are wicked, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your heavenly Father give good things to those who ask him? Do to others whatever you would have them do to you. This is the law and the prophets. The Gospel of the Lord. Jesus' message is simple. Bring what you need before the Lord. Does that mean that we get what we want all the time? Well, in the same way that he draws the comparison between the way that a father cares for his children, no. (laughs) Sometimes no is the most loving answer that a father can give. Our problem is that we're so prideful and egotistical and want to be in so much control that we can't stand it when we're told no. Um, that's a problem. (laughs) It's a real obstacle for faith. Um, I think the simple antidote here is he sees everything and we see about the slightest little slice of the pie. He's got the whole of time and history of your life and mine and every other person's life and every society and every community and every neighborhood. He's got a plan. His plan is ultimately for your highest good. Does that involve disaster at times? As a matter of fact, yes. Did Jesus ever say anything like, Um, I will be sure to protect you so that none of these things will ever befall you. Nope. And yet, and this is where we need to recognize our poverty. It's where we need to find and like just be able to name and be able to own the weakness in our faith that when we don't get what we want and and it it causes us to doubt, that's all that is. It's just a weakness in faith. We all have the virtue of faith or else we wouldn't be here. And yet our faith isn't perfected. It needs perfecting. And all in, all in greater degrees, right? This is just one little portion of the, of the attribute, the virtue of faith. I want to end on this. Look at how Esther prays. She comes and she prays to God and she asks for very appropriate things. She establishes her relationship with God. What she's really asking for is this. Save us from the hands of our enemies. Listen to how she, how she words this. Turn our mourning into gladness and our sorrows into wholeness. Esther, holy woman of the Bible that she is, knows that God can do these things. If we continue to bring ourselves before the Lord with the disposition of Well, trust. Trust in his providence. Fidelity to him, knowing that he has a plan and knowing that sometimes we can't see that or make sense of it. That if we do that faithfully, that he will eventually, on his time, according to his plan, for our great good and for his highest glory, bring our mourning into gladness and our sorrows into wholeness.